Hi Gemini, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of February 5th to February 11th, 2024. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Gemini, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of Gemini in regards to love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. Gemini, Gemini. What's going on for Gemini? Gemini. All right, here we go. Six of Wands, Six of Cups, Ace of Cups. What is this? At the bottom of the deck, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Nine of Wands. Ooh, Eight of Pentacles, I see. To the Four of Swords, interesting. Two of Swords, Star and the Nine of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, wow. Someone's coming towards you with a lot of confidence, and I don't know why. I definitely want to look at that. Yeah, someone's coming towards you with a lot of confidence. You're very busy. Um, you're very bu busy on yourself, focusing on yourself. Nine of Pentacles to the Four of Pentacles. Um, this kind of feels like hermit mode. It almost feels like you're isolated, just doing your own thing living your own life, not really paying attention to anyone, just paying attention to yourself, to your duty, your work, your responsibilities, your goals. It does look like you're shutting someone out with the Two of Swords and the Four of Swords. There's somebody who you're shutting out. You don't want to talk to them. You don't want to see them. Then we have this energy, so I really want to see what this is all about. Nine of Swords to the Star. What's going on with this energy, Spirit? Nine of Swords to the Star. Nine of Swords to the Star. Ooh. Queen of Pentacles. Tell me more. Nine of Swords to the Star. Knight of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Oh, okay. I see. You know what it is, Gemini? It, it's kind of like you just want to heal. There's some situation here that's bothering you. It's frustrating you. It's, it's stressing you out with the Nine of Swords. And with the Star card, you just want to heal from it. You know, like you just want to get over it. Like you just want to move on. You just want to stop thinking about this situation that is tormenting you in a way. Even though you are being very busy, um, focusing on yourself and on your work, your finances, whatever it is that you're doing here. Um, you are like maintaining yourself proactive in your life. Active and proactive. You know, you're not necessarily dwelling on your past, but it's almost like you feel haunted by your past, you know? It's like your, your past is affecting you even though you are doing your best to just focus on something else you know and and keep yourself busy on something else it's almost like your past keeps um resurfacing up in your mind with the nine of swords and it's like you just want to heal with the star card you just want to get over it you just want to be in peace you want to you want to have peace of mind all right, this person, well, I don't know who this person is. Someone's coming towards you with a lot of confidence, like I said, with the Knight of Wands. It's, they're connected to the Ten of Swords, so it does look like this is someone who you um, broke up with, separated from. This person feels a strong soulmate connection with you, and they want a new beginning with you with the Ace of Cups. 
They're very confident that they can achieve this new beginning that they want to have with you. Or this reconciliation, because I'm getting a heavy energy of reconciliation here. This reconciliation that they want to have with you, they feel really confident that they'll be able to pull it off. All right, let's go to their side of the reading. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of the person Gemini is connecting to and dealing with and love for this week. What is this person's energy towards Gemini, please, for this week? <clears throat> All right, three of pentacles, yep, and the three of cups. Wow, 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 and the ten of pentacles. Yeesh, yeesh, sheesh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Man, you two are in different um, vibrations completely. It's not pretty. You two are not on the same page with each other, but this person is determined to, to get you and them on the same page. That's why they're coming toward you with the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Like I said, they want to reconcile with you. They re want to reconnect with you. Um, and they want to work things out with the Three of Pentacles. They want to get on the same page with you. They want to recover this relationship, Ten of Pentacles. This person is confident that they want you, that you're the one for them. You're the one who they want to, like, invest their energy into, at least right now, currently. You're the one who they want to invest all of their energy and time into. Hmm. Bottom of the deck in this person's energy towards Gemini. King of Swords, Five of Wands, Three of Swords. Oh. What is this about? Hmm. Hangman, ten of wands, six of wands, two of pentacles, four of pentacles, five of cups. Hmm. Interesting that they have the two of pentacles. Let me take a look at that. Tell me about the two of pentacles connected to this person. Hangman, ten of wands, six of wands, two of pentacles. Temperance. Oh, I see. And the justice card. So they did give this a little bit of thought. You know, should I work things out with Gemini or should I not work things out with Gemini? Should I try to heal the relationship? Should I try to heal the relationship with Gemini? Or should I not try to heal the relationship with Gemini? What should I do? It does look like there was some sort of fight, argument, disagreement between the two of you that caused tension or a breakup or a separation with the Three of Swords. Who is this King of Swords? Let me just see who that is. Tell me about the King of Swords. The Moon. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And the Page of Wands. Yikes. I'll have to take a deeper look at this because the moon with the page of wands and the king of swords is definitely an energy of manipulation, emotional manipulation. Hmm. I mean, it does look like that even from your energy. It does look like someone who wants to persuade you and convince you that that you're tripping you know like you're tripping gemini like you're you're overreacting you're you're being dramatic like it's not that bad or it's not it's not that it's not a big deal like um st stop being difficult gemini you know like come on like let's just work this out like let's let's be happy it's that type of energy that i'm getting from them But I don't like this combination here. The moon and the king of swords definitely would imply someone who's trying to mentally and emotionally manipulate you. Almost like gaslighting a little bit. 
if I'm not mistaken. I feel like this is gaslighting energy. Yeah, I definitely need to take a, a deeper look at this, but this is the general energy so far, Gemini, that I see for the week. I'm going to stop the reading here, and I will continue in the extended. In the extended reading, I will take a deeper look at this person, and I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you, what are their true and real intentions with you, what actions will they be taking towards you moving forward, and what will the overall outcome be for this relationship. If you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.